Now we're going to mix the batch. What we're going to do, we're going to use 94 pounds of a 340 silica. We're going to use Lehigh white cement. We only use white cement. <clears throat> we're going to use 12 pounds of polymer. We're going to use 25 pounds of water, which is a 3.19 water cement ratio. <clears throat> Industry standards. Let's go ahead and mix. Pigments go in with the water and the liquids. spray between like a five or six inch slump. You adjust your slump with your water reducing agent. Set. <clears throat> in hot climates, you don't want to use uh, it, you want to use as little reducer as possible. And then during hot climates, you we would use ice water. You also can use a retarder if needed, never more than two ounces. You use WRDA 19 or Dertard 17. Go ahead.
This works excellent for taking the air out instead of your hand. You always try to face coat. A little complicated, but you always try to face coat 90 to the mold. <clears throat> and then we'll paint it, then we'll re-face coat it one more time, and then we'll let it tack up and then we'll spray it in the mix. We've got our 25 pounds of water, we've got our 94 pounds of sand, we got 4% 3 quarter inch fiber. For the industry to know the half inch and the inch and a quarter does not really do anything. Half inch fiber should not be used for premix. But the testing we've done, 3 quarter at 4% has given us the highest strengths. You know that by doing test strips and sending them to allied testing. Let's go ahead and mix the batch.
Guns flushed up. Since it's pre-mixed, there's not a lot of rolling. We use a lot of hands, a wet glove, to tool the corners. And that's what's really unique about pre-mix is you don't have the dry fiber. And normally, people that shoot GFRC, they use four blades in the cutter block. And that's basically an inch and a quarter. And with the pre-mix, we use three quarter. Also, when you have decorative detail like we're doing here, you can spray your first pass with your pre-mix and then if you need like PCI strength or that type of thing you can come right back in behind it and back it with a chopper gun. And this is a 5 8 inch pre-mix test board. You really can't tell the strength you mix until you actually do testing on it. But I think if all of you do, you'll find out that the 5 8 3 quarter inch, 4% fiber will be the strongest pre-mix you can shoot. And then these will be, the strips will be cut and they will be sent into Allied Testing in California. And that's how you tell whether you have strength in your GFRC or not, is only by testing.
take this shoot it on a piece of plastic and not have put uh, six <laughs> they're doing that, let's go ahead, he's going to flush the pump out and show them how we do it.
Just go right in the center, Gene. Yeah, four and an eight right in the center. Of the four. Right, you going in the I got four and eight. Okay. Perfect. Four and eight. Did you say you want one guy going Yeah. Okay. Just one guy. You guys hold the other. Square them off on the end, Bill. Nothing wrong. This is the galvanized steel frame, so the best weld you can use for welding this is CO2. That works great for welding galvanized steel. The flex anchors are electroplated. That's what they have to be for PCI standards. The pads are, should never be round. They should be exactly 4 by 8. Anything out here does nothing for what you're trying to do. It's just waste material, exactly square, 4 by 8. We can go ahead and fold the rails, guys. require an inch and a half material on the top side of the rail. This is where Premix started. There's a lot of people that have tried to copy us. They have hose problems, bearing problems. We were the first person in the United States to ever uh, spray Premix. There's a lot of people that have tried to copy us. But uh, to be honest with you, it started right here. Uh, you can see we've taken our time basically just to show you guys how this could be done. But you can imagine if you had a five-man crew that was just running continuously <clears throat> and we did a multicolor finish to make it look like granite. And so when we demold it, we'll show you the piece with a finish on it. But if it was sandblast or anything else or si single color, there would have been no time in the process waiting at all. We would have just went right through it. We just did this because of the video.
I will be cutting the test strips. I have already trimmed off the edges. You want to take your test strips out of the center of the board. I will be cutting them 2 inches by 12 inches and I will cut 6 of them to send off for testing. 